everyone this is Kalpana here so in this video we are going to see a problem from circles so let's get started problem find the center and radius of the circle 3x square plus 3y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 4 equals to 0 okay we are having the formula the center and radius of the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2y plus c equals to 0 is ordered pair minus g comma minus f and square root of g square plus f square minus c. So you can find the center using ordered pair minus g comma minus f and radius by using square root of g square plus f square minus c. Okay, we are given a circle. Given circle is 3x square plus 3y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 4 equals to 0. We know that the equation of circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. You will be having the quotient of x square and y square is 1 but in the given circle, the quotient of x square and y square is 3. So, what we have to do here is we have to eliminate this quotient 3 so that we will get the quotient of x square and y square is 1. Okay. So, let's consider this equation. The given equation can be written as You can take 3 common or you can take, uh, you can multiply 1 by 3 to this total equation. Let's see what happens if we multiply 1 by 3 to this equation. 1 by 3 into 3x square plus 3y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 4 equals to 0. Then you'll get 3x square by 3 plus 3y square by 3 minus 6x by 3 plus 4y by 3 minus 4 by 3 equals to 0. 3, 3 gets cancelled. 3 ones are, 3 twos are. Okay. I'll get x square plus y square minus 2x plus 4 by 3 into y minus 4 by 3 equals to 0. Okay. So next, what happens if we take 3 common? We take 3 common. Firstly, write the given equation as it is. So now we are taking 3 common. We get x squared plus y squared minus 6x by 3 plus 4y by 3 minus 4 by 3 equals to 0. Okay. So it is. So from this you will get take this 3 to right hand side. You will x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 4 by 3y minus 4 by 3 equals to 0. Similar to the equation multiplied by 1 by 3. Right? Fine. Given circle equation In standard form, is x square plus y square minus two x plus four by three into y minus four by three equals to zero. 
Okay. So here, compare the standard form equation, the standard form of the given circle and the equation of the circle and find G, F and C. Simply equating X terms or quotient of X and comparing constants. Comparing quotient of X. 2G equals to minus 2 by comparing quotient of Y you will get 2F equals to 4 by 3 and comparing constants you will get C equals to minus 4 by 3. Okay. So from this you will get G equals to minus 2 by 2 equals to minus 1 and from this you will get F equals to 4 by 2, okay, 3 into 2, 2 1s are 2 2s are equals to 2 by 3 and you have constant C. Fine. Therefore, G equals to minus 1, F equals to 2 by 3, C equals to minus 4 by 3. Now we'll find center and radius of the given circuit. Center C equals to minus G comma minus F equals to you're having G minus 1 minus of G. G is minus 1, right? So minus F. F is 2 by 3. So this equals to minus into minus plus 1 comma minus 2 by 3 is a center. Coming to radius, r equals to square root of g square plus f square minus c. So this equals to square root of g is minus 1. Minus 1 square plus 2 by 3 square minus minus 4 by 3. Okay. So you would write it as square root of minus 1 square is 1. 2 by 3 whole square is 4 by 9. Minus into minus plus 4 by 3. LCM of 1, 9, 3 is 3. 3 degrees are 9. 3. Okay, 3 degrees are 9. So 9 is a LCM. This is equals to square root of. 9 plus 4 plus 4 3 is a 12. 9 plus 4 is 13 plus 12 is 25. So this equals to 25. Square root of 25 by 9. Square root of 25 by 9 which is equals to 5 by 3. Okay. So. Therefore. Center. And. Radius. Of the given circle is. One comma minus two by three and five by three. This completes the problem.
So we have seen a problem from circles in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.